multiple lasers integrated as an array. A combined beam with more power. Higher energy density, tighter focus. So congratulations. If you shine a strong light into a special crystal, the electrons inside get pumped full of energy and it starts emitting photons spontaneously. But those photons are random and uncoordinated. Being clever, you placed a perfectly parallel mirrors, forming an optical resonant cavity. One mirror reflects almost everything. The other is partially reflective as those chaotic photons bounce back and forth between the mirrors. They trigger more emissions inside the energized crystal. Wave after wave of stimulated radiation builds. And the intensity keeps climbing. Superposed together, the light becomes directionally aligned until the beam finally exits through the partially reflective mirror. That's a laser. But a single beam is still too small. It barely affects anything beyond a tiny spot. Then combine them into one. A laser array beam combining a stronger, larger combined output with higher energy density. So congratulations! You've arrived at laser beam combining technology. But combined beams come with a problem. Over long distances, they tend to spread out. So the energy disperses and the effect drops. For someone as smart as you, that's not a deal breaker. You add an adaptive optic system, improving accuracy and focus. Adaptive optics can actively compensate for atmospheric turbulence, jitter and flow-induced distortions using real-time feedback control to keep the beam nearly parallel, minimizing divergence. Then, with precise focusing, you concentrate enormous energy into a microscopic area, right onto a tiny spot. That dramatically improves effective range and precision, and to push stability even further, you minimize interference along the optical path, reducing dust and air turbulence. But there's a cost. Systems like this demand enormous power, far beyond what ordinary sources can comfortably supply. So, you need a robust power system, capable of delivering energy on demand, with stable control under heavy load, and just as importantly, serious cooling, to keep everything from overheating, especially during sustained operation. Get those pieces working together, and you've grasped what it takes for a high-power laser system.